so welcome back everyone. I hope you've been practicing your drawing. My name is Will and I'm here to teach you that absolutely everybody can draw. So my job description is a simple one really, isn't it? I'm an artist. But what actually is an artist? An artist is anyone that consistently practices their craft in order to get better. That includes singers, painters, musicians, footballers, programmers. Remember, the key lesson here is that it's a skill, not a talent. And what that means is the more you draw, the better you get. If you find something difficult to draw, then practice, practice, practice. So let's talk about scale, basically the size of the objects that we draw. And one of the cool things we can do as artists is we can draw things to any scale. They can be huge or they can be tiny, but we need to be able to show that in what we're drawing. A good example of this is if we put a really, really large animal besides Fia and Taig, then we need to show it in proportion to them. So if you remember yesterday, we found out that Taig really likes dinosaurs and they can go to whatever time that they want. So let's put them with a dinosaur. And if I was to draw one, what size should it be? Does that look right to you? No, it's definitely wrong. We need this dinosaur to be way bigger than both Fia and Taig. And that's what we're going to do. So, Fia and Taig should be a lot smaller. And the dinosaur can be bigger. Now, how much cooler does he look? You think that dinosaur is hard to draw? I don't think so. What do we do? We'll find the simple shapes, we'll break it down into those, and then we'll add the smaller little cool details onto that first. Let's get rid of Fee and Tig. Let's move our dinosaur over a little bit, and let's find the shapes that he comprises of. So we've used squares, circles, triangles, semicircles, and squircles, which is halfway between a square and a circle. And we're gonna add in a teardrop. Basically, it's a circle that gets thinner towards the top. The first shape that I can see is a massive teardrop. So let's draw that. Then his head, well that looks like a squircle to me. And let's connect the teardrop to the squircle with some semicircles, okay? Now his little tiny arms, like a T-Rex, are teardrops as well. It's just it's missing the top of them. So let's draw some upside down teardrops here first. And another one over here. Then little rectangles onto them. For the legs, let's draw two semicircles and connect them at the bottom. Same on the other side. Now, it looks like his jaw is coming out a little bit further than his beak. So, let's extend a line like that for his jaw and bring that out there. And his eyes are exactly the same as Fia and Tig's. So we start with an oval, we draw a circle in it for the iris, except this time his pupil is a slit. Now let's bring in another cool tip and let's cut the eye in half with a semicircle and erase the bottom half of it. And that can make our dinosaur look a little sinister. Now another semicircle on top of the eye and an oval for the nose. And already we have the basic shape of the dinosaur. It's just the little details that need to be added in here. So because I designed a dinosaur, I could do whatever I want with him, and I gave him some feathers because dinosaurs, believe it or not, are birds. And these feathers are basically loads of tri little triangles coming off the top of his head. Now, what's missing? His teeth? More triangles. His toes? More triangles. And last but not least, we need the tail. And the tail is going to be a bunch of semicircles put together. So let's do one semicircle here. Another one like this for the other side of the tail. Then two semicircles like this that join together. Then we just have some triangles for the end of the tail. Now the pro tip. 
Lightly erase everything that we've drawn with your eraser, leaving just enough for you to be able to draw over it again. Because if you remember, I always draw stuff twice because one, it's good for practice, but two, I'll be able to use the lines that I already did to draw this. So I'm gonna speed this up, but you can draw it in your own time. There's a dinosaur. If you find this a little difficult, I'll have some worksheets up on rt.ie forward slash learn where I'll break this down into even more steps so you'll be able to practice it. Just remember, with drawing, we can draw huge objects and really small objects as long as you draw them relative to each other on the page. And when you're figuring out how to draw something, break it down into simple shapes and practice, practice, practice. 